You, you, you already know what it is. Come on. Yeah. Woo. The hottest hits. Hot 106. All right, Mike D with the Hot Morning Show back here with uh, probably the most special guest that I've ever had the pleasure of speaking to. Uh, WWE legend, just an absolute icon, Trish Stratus, joining us today. Trish, thank you so much. It is an honor. Of course. Thank you. So You don't say that to every guest, do you? I, pr- I, I promise you, you can check my track <laughs> record. I do not. Okay, good. Thank you this so is, much. <laughs> this is truly an honor. i uh, been a fan of yours for a very, very long time. I'm not, I'm not going to do the whole like thing that you always get. We're going to avoid that part, but just know. Oh, what, you mean telling me like, I mean, I was your crush. You had your poster on my your wall, things like that. You mean? You know, it's, I had it thought out in my head when I found out about this and I'm like, I guarantee she hears that so much that I'm not even going to bother doing it, but there's an understanding <laughs> there that we're that talking was about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> it doesn't make things awkward at all. So don't worry. <laughs> well, that, that makes things a lot easier for me. So that's, that's very <laughs> good to hear. But Trish, uh, seriously though, it, it is an honor. We're very excited here in Rhode Island. You're going to be in town this weekend. Uh, Saturday, it goes down. It is a New England Fan Fest. Immortal Seats presents. They got Trish Stratus, of course, will be there. Ray Bork, Dennis Rodman, plus 20 other athletes. It goes down this Saturday, February 17th at the Crown Plaza in Warwick. Uh, You can get your tickets at liveshows.immortalseats.com. Uh, so tell us about it. I mean, I'm sure you've been doing some conventions. I know that we right now we're in the middle of the Bad Girl Tour. So tell us how yeah. it's been going. Oh, it's been great. Like the Bad Girl Tour was super fun to put together. Like after being on the road with WWE for, it was about six months or so. Um, you know, that was super busy, of course, every single week out on the road. Um, and it, it was a lot, you know, because I'm away from my kids, et cetera. But I got in the grind of it. It was fine. My, my daughter came to be, you know, Tuesday's mommy comes home. Like she got it. It was fine. Nice. Um, but, you know, and, and that's one kind of work. But then then coming off of that tour, um, and then we, you know, we put together the bagger tour and got all these autograph signings and it was cool. Cause this time we actually, actually your location, this is neat about it is we had said to the fans, like, you know, you, you put it, I'm like, Oh, going to be here. And on the post and fans would be like, Oh, why don't you come here? And I said, you know what guys? So I kind of like threw it out there and I was like, let us know where you want to go. Um, and so primetime appearances is my booking agency and, um, they really got to work. And like, we literally were like, we, like my, got my, my site guys pulled, like put it together saw where people were asking and then primetime put it together and we nailed like a lot of the requests were like actually you know put into actual fruition where we ended up you know booking the date so um so this was one of them a lot of people from and i'm saying like it was boston rhode island you know new england area right people were asking for so we came along and i think immortal maybe approached us with it so it just was like it just worked out it was like you know universe is making me come over there so um super happy about that and and i love these appearances like I, it's just it's so much fun um because wb's i mean of course you know being on the road is one thing but even wb appearances very different right they're 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 just really quick. You're, you know, you're only there for two hours. You've got to, you know, talk to hundreds of people. And so you don't get much time with everyone. But the great things about these things is you get to have, you know, time to chat. And, and uh, what I've been finding, the cool thing was going back for those six months and having that last run again, um, allowed people to kind of like, so I had this like generational experience, right? So I had like the dad, um, you know, it was like, oh my God, I, I grew up watching you. And the then like, of the world, yeah. Son. Yeah, the use of the world, right? You know, it's like you come with your dad. Oh, no, no, you, you go, say you had a son, right? You come with your son would be like, and they're like, now my son got to watch you or my daughter got to watch you. And I think it's really cool, you know, and it's it's just such a neat thing. I'm, I'm so blessed that I got to do this, like to come back, you know, external. I mean, gosh, it's been, I mean, what, 20, what are we at? 24 years later? I mean, actually my, my uh, anniversary is coming up on the March 19th. It'll be 24 years since I made my debut so to come back you know to be in the business for that long and then to have that generational thing and to get stories and and it's cool when you come to a certain place and you get people saying like oh my god when you were here I saw you in this live event and they had their own personal experience which we get to chat about so yeah it's a bad girl love it it's it's literally a dream come true so I feel really blessed I get to do that and I'm excited to come out to um yeah to 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 Rhode Island and and kind of like you know answer the fans this is where you guys wanted me here I come (laughs) And they do want you here. I mean, uh, WWE as a whole is just so huge here uh, for years. And it goes way back, way back, you know, 30, 40 years for how long they've been coming here to doing events. So uh, having an icon like you and uh, doing these tours and giving these fans the opportunity uh, and and WWE superstars in general, like if you've ever been to a WWE event, um, whether it be, you know, a a house show or one of the, the televised events, it does yeah. come to the fans, and, and you've and you've said that uh, I've heard you say that before. Where like 
even your return, like it's what the fans want, you know, there's a part of it that's yeah. for you, but the majority of it is for the fans. And this is a great way to give back. Absolutely. And that was something when I went back, it, it was really like, that was my MO was like, like there was a lot of like callbacks and kind of like moments where I was like able to be like, remember this guys? And people mm -hmm. really connected with that. And it was super fun to like tap into that and just make that, that run unique in itself. And not only are you a Hall of Famer immortalized in the, the WWE universe world as well, but now uh, this is not your first time in a video game, but I just saw they recently released uh, your character for WWE 2K24 coming out soon. What is it like, you know, through the years, right? You go back to the beginning of your career and graphics mm -hmm. have substantially improved in during that time for video games. What's yes. it like seeing such a lifelike figure of yourself in a video game and maybe being introduced to some generations who missed the first part of Trish Stratus's career? Yeah, um, it's super cool. And, and the cool thing is, is I don't know if you're aware of like the, uh, the insides and the culture of it all, but I have an updated model this year. And right. it's important to note because again, listening to the fans, every year, super blessed. I've been included in the game for many, many years, you know, year after year. So I feel blessed about that. So, you know, kids did have a chance to sort of get to know me, but like, you know, uh, they finally updated the model. Like, I mean, cause you know, I had a couple of returns of like, you know, people like, why well, didn't put her, you know, it was everything from put her in the Snooki outfit, put her in the Royal Rumble <laughs> outfit, put her in the, yep. you know, it's like, well, you saw her here. What about that outfit? You know? And so finally, and there was honestly, I, it would, I would literally, they would, they would announce it and, and it would be trending like Trish or, you know, ugly, ugly model. No, I'm just kidding. Update model. It wouldn't be trending that far, <laughs> that, but literally you see a exist. Trish. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you would see, like people were just like, come on, give her the new. Outfit. And so I get, I guess, I guess maybe you have to come back and put the work in. But got an update, and she's super awesome. And like she's, she, you know, she's wearing my payback outfit, which is cool to have that match um, embodied in the in the game and have it sort of solidified. And it's very cool. Um, yeah, I, I, it's really fun. And and the fans again, you know, when they, I really, and I know that I know that Two K did listen. I know that they listened. They heard the fans. And, you know, they might have listened to me as well, who was listening to the fans, you know. Uh, so whether it's through me, whatever, they they listened and they addressed my Stratosphereans and we got an updated model, which is great. So, um, yeah, super cool. And uh, and I think that, and, you know, my costume designer, who's been with me for also a couple decades, she got her costume immortalized as well. So, it's, nice. it's, I mean, gosh, win-win. Yeah, it's been great. That's amazing. And when the Stratosphere speaks, everybody should listen. That's just, yes, that's, that's just good advice in general. <laughs> you have like the Swifties, you have the Beehive, and you have the Stratosphere. You don't want to make them unhappy. It's it could be very yeah, ugly. Yeah, no, <laughs> exactly. Um, so another thing I want to mention about video games. This is a call. This is this is a personal um, kind of really nothing to it. There's nothing for really you to answer. But SmackDown <laughs> Two back in like yeah. maybe twenty plus years ago, there was a loading screen of you. <laughs> yeah, um, I know fantastic. it. I know it. <laughs> fantastic one, by the way. It was incredible. Yeah. Uh, it made a lot of people very happy. It just seemed to always come up when my mom walked in the room and yeah. it made things very awkward for me as, as a, you know, as a kid, as, as, a, young, as, a, as a young kid. Yes. And yes, I've I heard wanna, that's not, again, not the first you. story. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right. I want to thank you for that, but also just let you know that it just, it made, it, it led to a lot of awkward conversations for some of us. <laughs> Well, you know what? I'm just honored to be part of so many awkward moments in your life, Mike. <laughs> so, Trish, so many, so many of them, but it, but it was okay. At that point, my mom was like, all right, whatever. It is what it is. She's a you, very you talented woman. You, you got to go back to mom and be like, mom, remember those awkward moments? And now we had an interview today. We chatted it up and all's good. And even if we leave this phone, uh, this phone call and you never think of me again, I will say we're friends. We're friends now. I'm going to tell everybody we that we're friends. At least for the next 10 to 15 minutes, Mike. Perfect. That's all, that's all that matters to me. I never was guaranteed one in my life. So I'll take. I mean, if you're, if you're a Stratosphereian, then for life, man, for life. Of course. Are you kidding me? Yeah. That's, that's a lifelong thing. Um, Trish, looking back, it is WrestleMania season, uh, a very yeah. exciting time for any wrestling fan, any fan of WWE. Uh, we know a lot of hype right now surrounding the main event. All right. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm, you've mm -hmm. mentioned many times on this call already about how the stratosphere has been able to make a lot of things happen for you in regards to your comeback and uh, coming to, to here to Providence and also in the video game. The We Want Cody movement and the return of The Rock, uh, have you been following it? What do you make of it in this whole mess that they kind of have themselves in right now? 
Yeah, I have been following it. How could you not uh, sure. hear it? Because it's very, very loud. Those Cody versus people, whatever we want to call them. Um, mm -hmm. Codespherians. Codespherians. No, that doesn't work either. We'll not as good as one. the Stratospherians, but <laughs> close. Yeah, do this, does he have a name? Does he have? Does, it, does he coin his fans? And something? Um, I don't know. We have to look into that. Something about maybe the road. <laughs> the Rock is calling them the Cody crybaby crybabies yep, right now. They have a, they have a, you're right. They have a, a term now. Uh, and I feel like they are going to proudly uh, accept that because they're like, even though maybe crybaby could be a negative connotation, uh, maybe they're proudly accepting it because The Rock coined it number one, which is cool. Uh, and also like, yeah, damn right. We did. We, cr we cried loud enough that you guys listened. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So uh, listen, I think it's cool. I, I, I honestly, anything that's sort of fan led, fan generated to me is, is amazing it, because it's genuine. It's organic. And um, I feel like that's what elicits the best response when you're out there. Um, and, and, you know, as a, I mean, you talked about earlier, you said, you know, being going to live events, how it's such a unique experience, right? So to be there and like when the fans are like, we had a hand in creating this, I think it's very cool. You know what I mean? I really think it's neat. And right. so I, um, yeah, it, it's been, it's been, in, I mean, I've had the same thoughts as everyone else regarding it all. Uh, but it, you know, all it did is it created more buzz, more attention, more chat, more chatter, more excitement, you know, at the end of the day. So it's all good. And, um, and uh, yeah, I guess it's, it's going to be an exciting WrestleMania, that's for sure. Yeah, it's been good business. I know, I know you've mentioned uh, you had approached creative about being a heel in your return, right? Because mm -hmm. how, how can you boo Trish Stratus? We know in your past, you've played a heel and you've done a phenomenal job, but now you were away so long. It was, it was hard to imagine. And you did an incredible job flipping that story with, with Becky, but then the rock is kind of in that same position right now. Right. Because anytime mm -hmm. he came back, it was like, Oh my God, if you smell. And then now he's found himself in kind of that heel position and he's embracing it. When mm -hmm. as somebody, I mean, mine was a little bit, his, his was a little more of an organic heel turn. I would say mine was more, uh, right. line driven, but anyway, yeah. Mm-hmm. But still, yes, it, that that part is true. But also, like, it's still like a mental switch you have to flip. Uh, now, yeah. tell, give us a little bit insight of that. Of even though you might have said it was part of the storyline, kind of created for you, but you still had to make that switch. Was it hard to do that being away for so long? Uh no, I don't know. Heel Trish has been uh, not that I'm that in real life, but her, you know, the sarcasm, the whatever, the punniness. That's sort of me. And uh, my disposition, maybe not as bitchy, um, <laughs> is me, you know, and, and uh, I enjoy and, and I just I know that like, for me as a performer, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to come back and not just do the, not to say baby face is easy, but I just I wanted a challenge. I'd be, I've done that over the years. And uh, if I was going to come back, I wanted to have a challenge of doing something different, different character work, different work as, an, as a, a different approach, rather as a, as a performer. So that for me, it was, it was, it was great. And it was fun to tap into it. And I love that. Like, you know, the audience, like, listen, when I walked out in the vintage Trish Stratus outfit, trust me, I was like, Oh, they're not doing this at all. They're very happy to see this, you know, yeah. but then it was up to me to kind of get in there and then with my words, make you do, you know, and they know, and the thing is, I always felt like, and, you know, cause you know, back in the day, they would say, they're never going to boo you. But like, you know, since you've been back, you're a hall of famer, you're a legend. Blah, blah. But I was like, well, you know, I feel like it's like, we're winking, right? Like you guys know your role. I need you guys to boo for this. Like, this is, you know, you might love, you're love to hate me, which is the thing. Right. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, everyone play played along and it was a lot of fun. So, yeah. A ton of fun. And, uh, you're gracious to give us your time today. I just want to wrap up with just a couple of Attitude, attitude era ish questions. Um, okay. Thinking back early days, I've been kind of revisiting some of the uh, attitude era on on Peacock, and I was the, the TNA days, right? You were, you were out there with Tess and Albert, mm -hmm. and you guys had your little feud with the Dudley Boys, and that okay. Bubba Ray run between you and him was was great storytelling. It was super entertaining, but like the build up to finally going through the table or him putting you through the table was like yeah. just. It's just such great work all around. You guys did such a good job. Tell us about that and like how were you, were you guys like leaving the ring, going backstage, and like oh my god, we have them like and just laughing about it. <laughs> um, I, I, you know, I wouldn't say laughing about it. I would say like you, you felt it. Like it was something people could not wait to to get. And that's just a, as a performer that you love that. You love when you're like they're coming along for the ride, just as we're trying to you know what we're putting out there. They're 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 buying. Um, and it just, it was great. And for me as a new, uh, you know, I was rather new at the time. I think I was maybe four months in, no, was that mm. a month in? It was early on. It, it was like, it was very early, right? 2000. Yeah. 
oh god so it's like okay so it's like a month not even a month okay so yeah i think i think back which it was always like april-ish or, or maybe after anyway it was mm -hmm. new i was new um and so for me to have a great storyline that allowed me to do character work um but also would culminate to this great physical feat um and i knew that would that i knew that would go a long way and i mean because i had a lot of doubters and people that were um, you know, she's just another pretty face and things like that. But, you know, I had done my training, I did my due diligence coming into the business, ready to do whatever it took to win you guys over or to prove myself as a, as an athlete or as a performer, sports entertainer. Um, and so getting the opportunity to do that storyline with Bubba leading up and culminating to the point where I would go through the table, a very physical feat for like a pretty girl, uh, <laughs> which didn't have to go through the table. Um, right. you know, I, I, it was great. And I really like, I even thank Bubba to this day, like for that moment, for being so into it as a character and just giving me what in everything as a character and I could give it back. And, you know, he didn't, he didn't protect me through the table, which I wanted to, you know, I know it's, a weird, it's such a weird thing, but in wrestling, that's what you want, right? You want to show like, you know, like, oh, she's the girl that went, it's not, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to be like, let me do it like the guys do it. Let me do it like any of the other girls or let me do it like Mae Young does it. <laughs> you that's know, the other thing, that, like, <laughs> he was on a little streak there and I'm like, yeah. okay, Trish, extremely athletic, incredible shape, you know, going through the table, no problem. May, I mean, that were people terrified backstage? Because I was as a viewer. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It was like, oh, I, I hope this will be okay. <laughs> you know, it was a little bit like that. But man, yeah. she, woo, what a trooper, that woman. Uh, it's Definitely. funny, me and Amy used to always, you know, there was a phase where we'd be like, oof, you know, like when we grew up, I, I think we'd retired at this point and we'd gone back here and there and we were like, um, like, gosh, we, we can't end up like me and Mula. And now I'm like, going, as I'm back at like the age that I'm at to go back and do a full on run with cage matches and everything. I was like, oh, I don't know. Maybe I will be that. Who knows? You know, <laughs> uh, Trish, I, <laughs> I can assure you uh, we are along for the ride and we are more than happy that you made that return. And, and hopefully I know you've used the word last run a couple of times, but. Uh, I meant like I, the last time, the last time I was doing a run was the, the last one, like last, last, last few months ago. You know what I mean? Last year, mm, you know. <laughs> so we're not saying the last, the last run is what I you're saying. I didn't say no, the, the last run. I didn't say the last run. No, no, mm. no. Mm, did not use those words. No, didn't put a the before mm. that. Those two words. Okay. So there, mm -hmm, there's that. I can know? work with those crumbs. I can work with those crumbs. There. <laughs> that's it. That's going to be the headline. It's going to be everywhere. Trish Stratus said she's not done. She's coming back. Um, yeah. <laughs> she didn't say the. <laughs> she didn't say the guys it is possible yeah. that she will be back um, the last run the previous run the one before this that's what i meant you know duh everybody can see mm -hmm. that hello <laughs> hello so synonyms synonyms kids synonyms <laughs> figure it out I, I, I don't even know if kids are learning synonyms anymore i think it's just like whatever so. TikTok no and no curse and no cursive writing hmm, interesting <laughs> yeah you, you're you're doing the, acronyms yeah, you're doing these autograph signings and it's like our kids, like, you know, future celebrities and athletes, are they going to be able to even sign anything or are they just going to do like a digital imprint? Listen, I, 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 I've seen some of the newer superstars um, and they just do an, a uh, um, their initial, you know, mm. and I think as a form, like I am, I've been a collector uh, my whole life. I, mm -hmm. I know what it takes to preserve an art, uh, 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 you know, uh, something like you get a unique piece that makes it mint, that makes it, you know, valuable, et cetera. Um, and I think a good autograph is something that's very valuable and very important. Definitely. So, uh, you know, and I'm very, I pride myself on having a very good autograph. That's, I mean, listen, do I wish when I was 20 years old, I didn't put a heart, Tristratus, an X, an O, and an X, and I have a thousand autographs to do. Uh, do I wish I didn't do that? Maybe. <laughs> but the point is, Mike, is I do it's that. A little bit easier. I get yeah, I wish I was like, geez, I didn't have to put the X and the O and another X. Holy smokes. But um, but when I have a thousand autographs to do, guess what? I do them every single one. And I must say, I'm very happy and prideful to say that um, they're all identical. So if you like, if you actually lay out like hundreds of my autographs in a row, which I'll have these massive pop signings with my my Funko Pop because I have a TrishStratus.com exclusive. Mm. Um, yeah, um, you can get it on my website anyway. Um, but yeah, a consistent autograph. And I think that's important. And I think a good collector realizes that important. And um, yeah, and that's why maybe I'm, you know, some have said my autograph is coveted, Mike. So there you go. And which, you know, if you come to the autograph signing session this weekend, it, you can get said coveted autograph. I will be there on Saturday. <laughs> okay. uh, and I will. I, I was not going to miss it. I was hoping okay. to be able to. I know with scheduling, you are a very busy person on this bad girl tour. Uh, but I will <laughs> absolutely be at the Crown Plaza in Warwick this 
weekend, New England Fan Fest. It's brought to you by Immortal Seats. Trish Stratus, of course, will be there. Ray Bork, Boston Bruins legend. Dennis Rodman, I mean, need I say more, plus 20 other athletes. If you're a big fan of wrestling, there'll be a ton of former wrestling superstars there. It goes down Saturday, February 17th. Liveshows.immortalseats.com to get your tickets. We will also share the link on our socials at Hot 106 and at Hot 106 Prov. Trish, can't even begin to thank you enough uh, for doing this and taking the time. I know I went a little bit past my allotted time, but okay. uh, it was an absolute pleasure speaking with you and, and an honor. Thank you. I, uh, I I had a lot of fun, first of all, and I look forward to meeting you this weekend. I'll be there 12 to 4, so put that in your calendar. Don't be, don't come at like 11 and then wait nope. and be like, where is she? And get there at 5 and be like, oh my God, I missed her. So 12 to 4. <laughs> I will be also sharing the link on my website and on my uh, and in my socials and putting the link out there. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing everybody at, uh, I, I guess, New England. It's like, I can, it's the greater area that I can refer to. Um, come out and see me. I hope there's no, is there snow right now? Let's tell me the snow situation. Yeah. So unfortunately, <laughs> Trish, it is a tough week for the New England area. We got a little bit of snow a couple of days ago and mm-hmm. they're predicting some tonight, but okay. it's not going to, it's not going to keep anybody away. It's nothing crazy, okay. but you know, people so will sa- still. By Saturday, we should be okay. Right. Uh, Trish, when you're in town, people will, they don't care if it's the blizzard of 78. Those listening <laughs> will know what I'm talking about. They're getting there. They're yeah. getting to the crown plaza to see you. Okay. That's a fact. Wonderful. All right, put your snowshoes on and get out and see Trish Stratus. Can't wait, Trish. Thank you so much. (laughs) Thank you so much. You you, you already know what it is. Come on. The hottest hits. Hot 106.